Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Alicia and I'm the owner of Alicia Be Creative. In today's video, we're gonna put together this super cute tropical themed tumbler and we're actually gonna be using all of the scrap vinyl that I keep hoarding and keeping around. So stay tuned and of course all the products that I use will be listed and linked down in the description box as well as some discount codes for you. But let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. So today we are starting off with a 14 ounce tumbler from Maker Flow Crafts. So this is a newer style that I actually haven't quite used yet, but it's this really cute, like little short in stature, sort of like coffee mug style cup. And it was perfect for this design and what the customer wanted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and of course get this cup prepped and ready to be able to get spray painted. So just taking a 60 to 80 grit sanding block and just scuffing up the surface. Remember the goal here really is just to scuff up all that shine going to give your epoxy and your paint and everything we're adding to it something to adhere to. And so after we're done really scuffing up the process, the tumbler top to bottom, I'll go ahead and get some paper towel and then a little bit of 91% rubbing alcohol and then get this completely cleaned off so that we can go ahead and kind of get into the design elements of this cup. So again, this is like a tropical themed tumbler. So the request was sort of for like summery tropical florida-esque vibes and so this was kind of what i came up with so i have this sort of scrap piece of vinyl that i had in my collection it's a great opportunity to be able to use this because i have a lot of scraps i don't know if you guys are like me but i typically keep like the smallest of scraps it's actually kind of ridiculous but i really have like an entire bin full of scraps that i really need to put to better use and i'm kind of thinking about like literally only making cups with scrap vinyl and scrap things that I have because the fact that I have like a one inch by one inch pizza scrap vinyl is kind of ridiculous but I feel like I'm not the only one who like collects all their scraps like I do <laughs> anyway those were the uh you know different elements we're going to be using today so I'm taking this sort of tropical leaf pattern this was actually I believe this was from I have had this this pattern vinyl for a really long time but I believe that this was from Shop Vinyl Gallery, I want to say. I believe. And if not, I definitely will make sure to put the correct shop down below. But I'm just going to take, you know, after I've split my tumbler, I'm just going to take that section of vinyl. And we're just going to get this adhered to sort of the back half. So we're going with sort of like this split lit cup design here. And so I'm just going to get this vinyl attached. So now that I have sort of the halfway point, I'm literally just going to adhere just a very small section of that vinyl on top of the blue tape and then get the rest of the vinyl applied. I did make sure to go all the way down to the bottom of the cup here versus um, having a bunch of overlap. And we're actually just going to push that bottom section down because it's not really too much of an overlap there. So I cut off the edges to make sure that I have a really nice straight line. Then I'm gonna use my heat gun and my squeegee tool to just push down this little edge of vinyl down at the bottom, making sure to eliminate all of the creases and any of like the puckering of the vinyl that might happen towards the bottom. Once I'm done with that, we'll go ahead and again, pull tautly the top of that vinyl and then get this trimmed off with our craft knife, get that excess removed. That way we can go ahead and remove the tape off of the edges of the of vinyl. And then we are going to replace and re reuse that tape and put that tape on top of the vinyl. That way we can then get into glittering this cup. So I just used um, the same tape. You certainly could use additional tape if you needed to. Also, be sure to when you're putting your tape on top of your tumbler, especially when you're using one coat of spray paint. In the beginning of the video, I kind of like used my tabletop to make my glue, the adhesive on the back of my tape to be a little less sticky. It's one of those things that I definitely live by because I'm known to spend all that time spray painting something and then have to go ahead and spray paint again because I've accidentally kind of pulled up the paint with my tape. Okay, so back to designing. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a nice coat of some Mod Podge here. And I'm going in with a glitter called Kanoe from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is like a 
sort of like a light teal colored glitter, a little bit more on the chunky side. So for my first coat of glitter, I'm gonna use Just Kanoe, and then I will go back in and do a combination of this color and Bluebird. So I've gone ahead and dried the tumbler so that the Mod Podge is nice and dry, brushed off any of the excess glitter, and now we're gonna go in for the second coat. So we're just gonna do another coat of Mod Podge. Remember your second coat for glitter, the Mod Podge is usually a little bit thicker in order to get kind of in all those little crevices and things on top of the already glittered sections. But we're gonna go ahead and give this a nice once over with some Mod Podge. And then I'm gonna go in and kind of lightly dust with Kanoe first um, and kind of just layer that chunky once again. Then I'm gonna go in with another color and I'm gonna end up going in with a blue blur, Bluebird. So Bluebird is a little bit of a matte glitter with some sparkle. So it's a little bit, it definitely matches the Kanoe but sort of has a different sort of sparkle pattern. So I really love how these two kind of play together really nicely. So once I'm done with that, that of course is going to get spray sealed and that will get put on the turner after I've removed the tape get that spray sealed and do a couple coats of epoxy until smooth. While we're waiting for that cup to cure, we're gonna head on over to Cricut Design Space and we're going to get our sort of decals and things ready. So the first thing I did there was I grabbed a square shape and I just measured the glitter side of my cup and it was about a five by five section on the cup that I can kind of fill up with all of my design elements. And so once I've gotten that kind of placed, I went into just the images in Cricut Design Space and just pulled together some sort of tropical leaves. And I just made these various colors just so that I could play with the layering here. So I'm just taking sort of duplications of many of those same leaves and just sort of creating this like layered pattern. The goal here is that I really want this entire blue section to be covered, but to still be able to see the glitter underneath. Additionally, for this, we are going to be adding a letter to this as sort of a resemblance of the customer's name. So I just found sort of like a varsity font that I liked. I'm going to change the color because we're actually going to do the offset in the same vinyl that we use for the back half. And then the top layer will be sort of a beautiful opal pearlescent vinyl that will be on top of that. So once I'm pretty satisfied with that, I'm going to get all of these cut and ready to go. So I'm using various sort of tech wrap craft vinyls, lots of opals, lots of sort of those bright shiny colors that I absolutely love. And we're gonna do a little bit of layer here. So I will of course list all of the different vinyls that I used and these were all from my scrap bin. As I told you, I have a lot of scraps. So these are actually all from my scrap bin but I was able to go ahead and use all of these to put together all of these sort of tropical leaves. So I'm really quickly going to just weed these out. That way we can go ahead and start to layer them on the cup. I really love how these sort of, you know, holographic colors all work together really nicely. I just love, I love, love, love holographic vinyl. It's not always the easiest to work with. I'm sure you guys have experienced, but certainly if you make sure you're using the right cut setting on your cutting software, it's so much easier to be able to get those cut out without having to fight with, you know, the vinyl when you're trying to get it all weeded. So once I've gotten all of that vinyl weeded and ready to go, I'm gonna come back to my cup here and of course do any necessary sanding. So taking an 80 grit sanding block and really focusing on the top rim, I wanted to make sure to get that fine line of stainless steel exposed on the top to make sure that our final coats of epoxy adhere nicely to the top outer edge and not the top edge. Then I'm gonna go ahead and of course focus on the bottom, just anything that was sort of rough and bumpy and get that sanded down as well. And then we can go ahead and get this cleaned off so that we can get our decals applied. So we're gonna start with some vinyl lines. So I did have these vinyl lines already cut. I just grabbed them from the scrap pile. So we're gonna add those to the side. I did use my hole punch here to cut out a two inch circle for the bottom. So I've used that hole punch before, but it's perfect for these style cups that have just that sort of little bit of an inset on the bottom, just to jazz up the bottom of your cup. If you're not going to do something like a glitter butt or you don't want it to just be glittered, it's kind of a nice way to kind of break up that kind of design as well. And so we're gonna go back and just line the sections where the vinyl and glitter mat or sort of meet. We're gonna go ahead and just use this beautiful uh, pink to purple shifting opal vinyl to line those edges. 
Once I've gotten everything trimmed there, I am only gonna do the sides. I'm not gonna do anything along the bottom or the top there, but now we can go ahead and get into layering everything together on the glitter side of this cup. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into layering. And so I could have literally taken the exact template that I had created in Cricut Design Space and use that as my guideline, but I never do that. <laughs> I just ended up taking all these elements and just re-layering them in the way that I thought they would best work. I was trying to make sure that I didn't have two of the same leaves or two of the same colors next to each other. So that was really my main goal, but I'm just gonna go ahead and layer these. There's no real tip or technique other than making sure you don't have the same colors layering each other, but I really love how this side of the cup turned out. It's absolutely breathtaking for me. Again, I'm just in love with all those like opal pearlescent vinyls, which is why I think I love it so much. So I'm gonna go to, going to go ahead and just finish doing a little bit of weeding along that one set of vinyl. Then I'm gonna trim up all the edges, any overlap that was over that section that was the vinyl side. And then once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and we're going to get the letter decal on this. So I have not yet applied any epoxy. I have done all of this layering. And so a lot of you might be worried about a lot of the creases and things because we're working with, you know, those vinyls that can really sort of show any sort of indentation in it. So what I will say is with the pattern vinyl, you definitely won't have an issue um, with the way that I layered the leaves as well. There wasn't any issues with seeing any of the creases under the, uh, you know, under the other sections of vinyl. Now for this section right here where I'm adding the holographic V on top of that offset, that I end up taking off and recutting and then putting a new one on because after I had applied a layer of polycrylic, which you're gonna see me do right now, which is to seal in all of that holographic vinyl to make sure I don't have any lifting. But what I did notice after I did that and it had dried, I wasn't really happy with how sort of textured and bumpy that letter V was looking, just the holographic vinyl on top. So I did go ahead and remove that and then replaced that after a coat of epoxy. So I'm gonna go ahead of course do this layer of polycrylic i'll let that dry for about 30 to 40 minutes this will go back on the turner for two final coats of epoxy of course and then here is a final look at the results so i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video this is kind of a short and sweet one. You guys know how I kind of just come up with the design sort of the spur of the moment, but I really do hope that this was something that you guys might want to recreate. Maybe get those scraps out and create something new. So if you love today's video, give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.